Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John, and Mama from Coffee Time with John and Mama on Facebook. If you're not following us, be sure you go and follow our page. Spread it around with your friends. And uh, let's get to cooking. Let's talk. Let's talk about supper time. You know, sometimes the refrigerator just gets overwhelmed with stuff. And you have, little, <laughs> you have little bits and pieces of all kinds of stuff in there. And uh, here's a part of a cabbage head. And here's a tomato with a wet spot on it. We've, are y'all having these? Just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tomato. And then you roll it over. And there's a spot that looks like it's blistered. I'm going to try to save this tomato. Um, here's our little... Somebody tell me this is called mise en place. Well, I can't even or crudite. Crudite. This is what we had the other night when we dipped it in the ranch. It needs to go. It needs a home. Here's a little red purple onion. It probably could stay, but I'm wanting it. And here's one little long. I don't know how this little fella fell out of the bag. He got left behind. The whole family <laughs> left him. I don't know. But he's going to get used tonight. This is a sweet pepper. And. We've got these smoked Bronx works that uh, I bought and I've eaten one out of it and we're going to cook them up tonight. Clean up time. And there's more. There's more. Oh. Much, much more. So tonight's dish is going to be a stir fry, but it's going to be probably one like you've never seen before. And if you have things in your refrigerator, then I'm going to say I suggest you get you some stir fry up too. And stir fry Bronx, this is all good. It's all delicious. And we're gonna fix it up. Ain't we, Mama? Yeah, I'm watching tonight. It's Mama's night off. <laughs> I'm still celebrating. Still celebrating. <laughs> we'll celebrate all month. That's just what she does. I'm still celebrating. So here I've got my, you all call it probably a pan. I call this a deep skillet. Uh, this is from Tupperware, it's got the handles. But I want something deep. So you want something deep. This is about two and a half inches, three inches deep. And uh, that's what I'm using tonight. Cause I need something to hold all this stuff and I can fold it, roll it, and it'll still cook, but not be falling on the paint. Now I am gonna point y'all down here. Y'all may not be able to see every. Okay, that's good. So I'm just going to cut this cabbage head up. It's already been washed. It's been dried. Anything that's not savory looking on it, I've then chopped it off. And I'm just going to cut it up in fairly thin slices. You love cabbage steaks too, don't you? I love cabbage steaks. I love cabbage anyway. I like it boiled, fried, grilled. I like it in the oven. I like it on the in the stir fry. I'm looking for the core. There it is. I don't know what that black is on there. I don't know if it's something. Take that whole leaf off. Might be there. I'll do two things, Mama. I'll take the leaf off. Oh, there's some more. Oh, let's just grow down in. It's, I guess it was fine. I'm going to turn it upside down and use it for a garbage bowl. Oh, you're smart, Mr. Y'all ever find this black? It's part of a cabbage, I guess. Sometimes I it's rusty, looking like lettuce. Sometimes. I don't like it. I'm not eating it if I can help it. No, can catch it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down. I'm afraid I'll get in that corner. I don't want that bitter core. The core is not your friend unless you just want to eat it raw. Now my granny used to eat it raw. I don't care for it. Daddy always wanted it put in the crowd when it's making crowd. He didn't cut it. He just wanted it in there to stick a core down in the sun of the crowd. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to cut the rest of this cabbage. This cabbage is a little older. This was a homegrown cabbage, wasn't it, Mama? Uh -huh. It's a little older, but it's, you can tell it's kind of turned white, white, lost some of that green. And that's how you can tell. It's not old, it's just, you know, it's ready to be used. And I'm just gonna throw that right in the pot. No oil, no nothing. This is gonna be a healthy little treat tonight. We ate catfish and toast and 
baked potato. That was pretty baked good. Baked potato. We showed ourselves. No, I'm going to just say it. We showed ourselves eating I all that over, cat. over eat. <laughs> eating all that catfish, but it was good. But yeah. we're not going to eat it tonight. <laughs> Nose at the door. Now she'll lay all day long. You'll never hear. You'll never know she's here. If somebody's at the door, she shows herself. What she's really thinking, though, in Maggie, this is a translation. She's telling Mama, somebody's at the door. I hope it's the FedEx man or the UPS man, and he may have me a biscuit. That's the truth. Because if anybody comes to the door, she goes out and sniffs on the porch to see if they left her a treat. She actually thinks that people only come here to bring her treats. Do y'all have a fur baby like that? I'm all right. Mama won't be back, not for a minute. Now, normally I'd probably put four or five of these little peppers in there. This one's the only lonely one I have in there. Now, how does that happen? I guess he just fell out of the bag and got underneath the cabbage. You know how you do. And uh, we're just now finding him, but he's still good. So he's getting used. He'll just be a little color, a little flavor. And uh, I'm just gonna slice him up real like matchstick style. Just like this. And uh, he will add quite a bit of flavor. Um, if I was planning on using them, I probably wouldn't use them maybe three. So the fact that we only have one is not a huge problem. Um, this is going to be a pepper, but it's not a green pepper. Um, so it won't be, I won't mind it flavoring in there and being cooked. What do y'all eat? In fact, one of y'all got me to eat this and said, one of y'all said my son's stir fry. And I thought, mm, that cabbage stir fry would be so good. Our fur babies are spoiled, right? They are. Lisa, um, you know, I've heard before that you, dogs, dogs will live with you and be your pet, and cats will allow you to live with them. Maggie's part cat. She allows us to live with her, and that's what she feels about it. Um, if you, if, she, if she, you're where she wants to be, too bad. She's gonna move you over. I'm cutting up some celery. This is celery hearts. And I did not buy hearts. Um, this was off a of stock that we had in there, and I don't know what we used it for. Do y'all remember? Um, and this is the heart that's left, and there's something on it. Watch your leaves, folks. It's not, it's just celery. It's like the cabbage, it's just something on it. Uh, but I use leaves and all. Uh, I use leaves and all in stir fry. I'll use leaves and all on soup. Love it, soup. In the winter time, anytime I cut celery, I, anytime I cut celery, I save the, the leaves in the winter time because we make a lot more soup and this is wonderful vegetable soup. Uh, so I use the leaves and all. But uh, you don't have to, if you say, oh, I don't like the texture. If it's texture, then I say leave them out. Flavor, you can't beat it. They're wonderful. And no, I don't uh, string it. I don't know why we just never have. I see other people do it. If I, only time I would ever string it, and don't even always do it then, is if I'm putting stuff in it, like with pimento cheese or chicken salad for a party or something, then I might string it. Let's see, check this out. Who was at the door, Mama? Uh, the mower. Oh, lawn mowing. Mm -hmm. They're not quick. Did you leave Maggie with them? No, she's right over there. See, not a sound. You don't even know she's in the house. 
Yeah. The door bill. That's what tires her up. If she thinks it's the UPS guy giving her a biscuit. <laughs> Who, have y'all heard that before? <laughs> I just told him that. Just told that's him exactly that. what I just said. I said, oh, she just goodness. thinks it's for her and it's a biscuit. And whoever's out there, whether it's the lawn mowing people or whether it's the company or whatever, Maggie will look for a biscuit on the porch. Because he He's leaves sold. it. He, he will throw it on the porch for her or he'll hand it to her. Um, but she smells around like. I'll tell you what happened about two weeks ago. He had laid one on the rocking chair arm when he delivered some stuff for her. And it fell on the porch. So now every night when you go out for the nightly update, she looks everywhere on the porch like, could there possibly be one more biscuit? Now let me tell you about these biscuits. Just let me share a moment here. Maggie will not play with a toy. She will lay with one. Um, she'll use it for a pillow, but she will not play with it. <coughs> Uh, if you, if she get her something soft, she'll lay in her bed and she'll put her head on it. She likes the pillow, but she will not play with one. So I bought her some of those, I don't know if you say the brand, the bone cookies. Had a whole box of them. Would she touch them? No. Would not. I broke them up. She would not eat them. I then, I'd give her one, give her a, a pepperoni. The only thing she would eat was pepperoni. I'd give her a pepperoni, then I'd give her one of them. She would not eat it. What touch it? The UPS guy starts giving them to her. She loves them. So now I buy them too. I gave that box away to a, a friend for a baby. Now, I buy them, she loves them. What? Who? Hmm? It's like the kids. It's like your kids when you tell somebody, they won't eat that, and then they <laughs> feed it to them and they eat it. And I thought, this is good. This is good, Mom or Dad. Why don't you ever cook this for us? And then you feel like, do they think I've never cooked for them? Maggie's the same way. Mama, my pop runneth over. It'll melt down, or wilt down, I should say. I'm not gonna put that celery. We no, have we celery don't. enough. Now in here is some uh, crooked neck squash, yellow squash, and some broccoli. And both of them have been in there since last week, so it's time for them to go into a pot. So in they go. Uh oh, they're overflowing. In they go. And we're gonna throw this. I can't remember anything. Um, a crudite, I think is what one of y'all told me. This is cucumber, yeah, cucumber, and a little bit of carrot and some broccoli that we used with the... Well, that, uh, I was gonna ask y'all what to cut. I didn't think that was cut. With, we used it with the um, ranch dressing, mama. Okay, folks, that's it. That's a heaping help of the veggies. We're gonna put this on the stove. Then I'm going to prepare some onions. This is the last of the day. Yes, the onions won't go in here. No, ma'am, I'm going to do them with the broth. I want the oniony broth flavor. Now I'm just going to put these onion pieces now this will, we'll eat on this all weekend. This will be our little go-to, heat it up, eat it up in the refrigerator. You all have that little heat it up, eat it up, where you make a big old pot of beans or make a big, and then if you get hungry in the day, we got them beans in there. We got that stir fry in there. Um, it's delicious. And it's, this is gonna be healthy because I'm not gonna add any wild seasoning. I'm not gonna add anything other than just uh, onion and broths and wonderful vegetables. Um, sometimes you just need to have veggies and clean foods. Especially when you've had fried fried, which we just had fried fish. But, uh, and the potato was baked. 
Mama keeps going to that back potato, but I'm telling you why. Kind of just about. <laughs> we had fish, catfish enough to fill this board, and it was right. It was good. It was good. It's Mama's birthday. We were to fix whatever she wanted to fix. And I just went around that onion and cut it like that. Seeing it, all them little wonderful pieces. Now when I cut it the other way, it was fall right out. But I'm not gonna cut them too small because I'm not wanting to dice them. I want to taste this onion and I want it to be big enough chunks, but I'm gonna soften it so it'll be fine. You can put a little water if you want to, Mom. Um, if I put anything, it would just be water, just to start the steam. But now there's enough water in that cabbage that it's gonna steam it down. And believe it or not, eventually, eventually, I pulled you up for comments, I'll put you back down for onion cutting. Eventually, that pan will hold everything and it won't be near that big. So I know you're all thinking he fixed two gallons of vegetables and they will not eat that and they're gonna waste it. We're not gonna waste it. And it won't be that much. For you all who never seen a stew cabbage or never seen cabbage cook, you start out with lots of cabbage and you end up with a little cabbage. And that's the way it works. Lots of cabbage down to a little cabbage. I posted a link this morning or earlier today from Sydney, the young lady who came and sang for us, my friend's daughter, and she's doing a drive. And you can win stuff um, donating for the flood relief in Kentucky. That's still a very big deal. That's still very prominently. I mean, all, all the churches around here, um, everyone's participating, and our association's participating. Those folks have had it rough um, and still continuing to have it rough. I heard yesterday they are driving these products so far and then they've got people on four wheelers that are actually taking them into the areas because there's no way to get in. Um, they have to four wheel it in because there's no road. Um, and where there is a road, the bridges are gone and they're having to make roads, just four wheeler paths to get food in there to them, and water and supplies. I don't, a lot of y'all know, but when you're talking about re remote Appalachia, you're talking about remote. remote. You're talking about probably the roads before the flood weren't wonderful. We don't have wonderful roads here. Uh, our road in front of our house probably hasn't, it hasn't been paved in 20 years. I called and asked, because it's election year, you have to ask <laughs> on election year. But I don't think that was running this time. That was probably one of the issues. Uh, but uh, yeah, you wanna, it's been over probably 20 years since we've had pavement on this road. Uh, and it wasn't real good. It was more like a, they use it a lot of times, they'll, they'll tear up a road around here to construction and they'll take the pavement and then they pile it up somewhere and I don't know the whole process, but it's, they call it tar and chip, and it's just the pavement, and then they put it back down, and it reseals, and it works out pretty good. Now this is just a small red onion, purple onion, I call it. Uh, but these are so good. And they have a different flavor than the Vidalia. A little stronger now. Um, so you get a little bit of that, and they have a good color, but even though the color don't stay the whole time after they're hot, like purple cabbage. Don't ever get purple cabbage thinking you're gonna make your soup look pretty because it'll go green on you. Hold it, Mama. Yeah. It'll go green. Green, green, green. Don't stay purple. How you feeling today, Mama? How's your sugar? What's going it's on with you? Good. Had no problems today. See, you hardly ever do, but when you do it, kind of makes you weak. Makes you weak. You see it for a while. Can y'all hear us? Let me. I'm gonna click. Oh, let me plug up this microphone because I know 
see if it makes, if it causes trouble, so they tell me. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Can you hear us still? Can you hear us better? <laughs> Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me, tell me, tell me. Is it starting to melt, Mama? <coughs> Hello from Missouri. Hi. <laughs> Alicia. Can y'all can y'all hear? Awesome, Mama. You keep on doing you. Thank you for those stars. Darlene, uh, how are you? Hey Judy. It's all good. Thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie, thank you for she always answers my questions. Now I'm just gonna break these up with my fingers a little bit. Just to get them. And I'm just putting them over here in our stack cooker. I make, I could cook them in the stack cooker. Um, that would do very well in there. In fact, I think I will. Cause I've already got them in there. We use that as a drainer. No, that's not what Tupperware sells it for, but me and Mama both grab it all the time. Tupperware sells a wonderful drainer, strainer, but we don't use it for that all the time. If I if I think about it, I think I'm gonna get the strainer out, and I'm I'm okay with that. But if I'm just grabbing one right quick, I'll reach and grab it all the time. I know. So these are rocks. Um, I must smoke rocks worth. And you're just wanting that for the flavor. It's not gonna be, you know, that's gonna be a good portion right there because I've got five of them ready to go. I just stacked them up there. You see how I stacked them? You can, if the comments are bothering you, swipe them to the right. Just take your hand and swipe them over. Someone told me the other days theirs didn't swipe. Now, I don't know if it matters what kind of phone you have or not, if they swipe. Mine always swipe to the right. And if I want them back, you swap to the left. But that's what we do. These are just like the smoked sausages you get in the big round. So the flavor's gonna be good, they're just gonna be smaller. Sometimes I cut the others in half anyway, so this is no problem. If you have problems with those big ones, or you don't, maybe you like smoked sausage and cabbage, but you don't wanna make a big old batch, buy these brats and fix you two at a time. Put your cup or two of cabbage in there and uh, you can have have this meal in just a heartbeat. But it was time to clean on that refrigerator, get some of it out of there, because we, we accumulate little bits and pieces, little parts of a, of a uh, celery, half a cabbage, you name it. Um, I'm going to. That will sit down on the bottom of one of them. Yeah. I'm going to put the brats in here. Now, these brats, I'm going to spray them with a little bit of oil just to give get them a flavor and get them started. Uh, and then I will put the onions on top and I messed that up somehow on the put the onions on the bottom and the broth on top. And those onions will steam up in there and that just gives a little flavor. One of y'all told me that. One of y'all said spray your air fryer stuff with oil. Mama, can you rinse these off? How come? Smell of them. If you use oil and vinegar. Oh, I gave you the wrong box. In the same oh. kind of container. Okay. Be careful. This is totally apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Sorry. This is oil. I'm doing that. <laughs> there is some difference. I'm going to have to label those, Mama. I gave you the wrong box. <laughs> Oh, I smell vinegar. Uh, but it was in a solid thing. It will just be a second. Vinegar might make it taste good. Let's work on this tomato. Let's see what that... 
Why, folks, why do these tomatoes have these water spots? Some of you farmers up there, tell me. I could call my uncle up when he was alive, and I said, okay, I got a tomato over here, and it's got a big blister on it. He said, well, here's what you need to do, and you would have known exactly. My uncle was, that's all he ever done that I know of. He worked a little bit years ago in a factory, and he worked some in Chicago, but this was his life as farming. He knew all kinds of, see it on the inside, it don't look right. He knew, he, he said, throw the whole thing out. Okay, there you go, I'll wash them up twice. Oh, no they smell wonderful, Mama. No pimpers. Let's spray these rocks, take two. <laughs> Let's spray these spots with a little bit of avocado oil. I know, it's a good thing I didn't have the, a bottle of cologne in here. <laughs> Or Mama would have been spritzing cologne on them. Um, your Mama, you may be right. This one may get. This one may get sent to the. This one may get sent somewhere. It smells good, and I've got down to a good looking part. But now I'm gonna throw all this away because this just don't look. This just don't look right. And it had that big blister on it. When I say blister, it's just a soft spot with water. But now you can smell your tomato after you cut it. And trust me, if it's bad, it, it'll tell you. It'll say, no, this, you know, not today, John. Not today. We're not doing it today. I want to cut these pieces of tomato large. Because I'm going to cook them. Um, I feel like I've gotten off tradition. But this time, normally, by August, I've done it all. And I haven't done any. I have made tomato pie. I have um, tomato, gravy. tomato gravy. And I have done fried red tomatoes by now. I've not had any of that. But usually by this time of year, Mama's got a plenty of red tomatoes. News flash. We have got our first red tomatoes in yesterday. Um, here on the Davis farm. So I want these tomatoes to be big enough that we'll be able to taste them in our stir fry. Don't always put tomatoes and stuff in stir fry, but um, sometimes I do. I like a hot flavored tomato. So sometimes, yeah, I stick me one in there, as I am tonight. I will be making tomato pie, Lord willing, and I will be making tomato gravy, Lord willing. You Before the, long. I'm going to make Mama make the tomato gravy. You with the cologne. Yes, the cologne <laughs> and the vinegar. I'm going to leave the vinegar over here, Mama. I'm going to put a label on him. Uh, I'm going to make Mama make the tomato gravy. We thought about it the other night, back and forth, back and forth. And I said, Mama, we need to make some tomato gravy. You need to make it. I'm not making it. Mama, your, yours is so much better than mine. It is not. I'm not making it. You make it. I said, Mom, we make it the same way, but yours tastes better. Now, I don't know what it is. Mama has got a gift with it. Um, I make it a lot just because I'm in the middle of cooking supper, and I just make it. And I tell Mama every time. You may have to wait to September since I'm on my birthday kick. <laughs> Give her one birthday, and she takes the whole month. I, I tell Mama every time she makes it. Now, Mama, this tastes more like the real tomato gravy. Mine don't ever, to me, mine taste, I taste the tomato, but mine, I don't know, I think I put too much grease in it or something. It just don't taste like Mama's. And I watch her, and every time she makes it, I think I'm going to watch real close so I can get this right. But Mama's is always best, and I'm not just saying that to flatter her. She makes delicious tomato gravy. So, Mama, are you going to tell the folks that you're going to make it? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. She's so mean. <laughs> She's so mean. Mama will make it, I'm sure. Y'all vote. Do y'all want to see Mama make tomato gravy? If you want to see Mama make tomato gravy, stick up some hearts. Oh, Let's see, Mama, if they want you to make it. You had them sticking up parts for, uh, what was it? And what I didn't say one time, but you were saying it's what I thought. 
was thinking. You was saying. I heard it in my mind. Mm. Mama, look at those hearts. That's you. I don't know. And there's a care and hearts and hearts and hearts. Now, Mama, those hearts are speaking. <laughs> no. Look, here comes one. Right up through there. Here comes a bunch, Mama. They're, these are hearts for you. Yeah. Mama will make this semantic gravy. <laughs> why is it that why is it that your mama makes something and it tastes completely different? I mean completely different. Um, I do the, exactly what she does. Don't know mama. Don't yeah. you put grease, flour, stir mm -hmm. it, add your tomatoes that you cut up and let's set. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And you stir it. Mm -hmm. She makes it and I just love it. I make it and I'm like, eh. Now she always says, it tastes good. There's nothing wrong with it. But there is. It's different. Like Some good. things I like better that I cook than Mama cooks. Because Mama's not big on seasoning. Uh, <laughs> it's not that hers is bad. It's just plain. My potato soup, I love mine. I tolerate Mama's because it's good. I make mine just like my mommy. She makes it with um, just potatoes. Potatoes and cream and butter. And, and by salt cream, and she cream. means evaporated milk and salt and pepper. And I put Onions. a little onion and I find, dice it real fine. And I put, I use a shot or two of hot sauce just to give it flavor, not heat. And uh, I'll put a little bit of, um, of um, cheese in it sometimes, cheddar cheese. Every time we were sick, we got homemade potato soup. Now here, I'll, I'll tell you this. When I am sick, I want mama's potato soup. I want the plain version. It just, it's just good and it, it <laughs> you know. But when I'm eating potato soup and something, I'm like, I want mine a little bit flavorful. Dad used to say, he just uh, wanted George to put onions on Yeah, and say, are you going to make the potato soup? And I said, do you want some? Uh, yeah, you're going to put some onions in it, ain't you? I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we will put some onions in it. Now, look at that big pile of tomatoes. Now, that's beautiful. That's a picture. That'll be so good. And we'll put them on those hot vegetables. They'll get hot, but they won't get mush. Um... We're not putting any cheese, any sauce. It's just going to be, uh, Mama's already salt and peppered that. Oh, we didn't? Mama, you had one job to do. She's just going to salt and pepper it. And we're going to throw this in there. And we're going to throw this in the uh, stack cooker and let it heat. Now, if you don't have a stack cooker, um, don't fear. All you need is a skillet. And you can fix this right up in these onions. And they'll be delicious. And uh, that's all you have to do. Mama, come over here and sing and dance, and I'm going to put this stack cooker on. I'll put it down there, and you sing and dance. I'll leave it to the singing and sing and dance. Because I can't do neither. So I just sprayed a little oil on those, and I'm going to put a little water in there. And uh, when Mama comes back over here, I'll go and stack cook her. But you can do that in the uh, in a skillet. I put the meat in there first, and then let that brown a little bit, and then I throw the onions in on top of it. Uh, let, the, let them saute down, and you'll have the same result. It just takes a few more minutes, is all. Now this dish of vegetables that I had to pack in there, and they were mounted up above the skillet, is now down to about half a skillet of vegetables. Here. I can talk to them. Oh, I can't talk to them. I can do this. This what? Put that in the Mama, you got them thinking you don't even want to do coffee time. One of them said that I said, Mom, you can tell Mama don't want to be there. <laughs> I did. Yeah. One of them said, you can tell she don't like it. John does that and makes her do it. Is that true? <laughs> no. Huh? No. Mama sometimes encourages me to do it. She'll say, well, are you going to cook? Are you going to get something together? You need to get on it. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. <laughs> Folks, Mama don't do nothing she don't want to do. John don't make Mama do nothing. Now, sometimes I highly recommend, I highly suggest, and I have put my foot down 
two or three times in her lifetime and made her go to the doctor. And I did that not long ago, my <laughs> summer fall. You know, she was saying she was uh, having shortness of breath a little bit, but it was okay because it was only when she did. I said, Mama, that's not normal. We had a homecoming at church and I overheard her telling somebody else, I can't get my breath good after running around here all morning. And I said, Mama, let's go and let you get checked out. No, no. So I let her get by with it Sunday. Monday morning, I called her doctor and she said, bring her in today. So I called Mama so we can go to the doctor right now. Get ready. And sure enough, they done test and what happened, Mama? I had to have some stents put in. Because you needed them. Mm -hmm. And so the, I, every once in a while I have to make her do something for her own good. But Mama, you did what you want to do, don't you? Yeah. I've been strong wheel on she, she don't take no direction suggestions. And you all see the sweet Mama. <laughs> I am sweet. Don't make her mad. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to say that. Don't make her mad. I don't get mad hardly ever. Hardly ever. But boy, if you do. Katie barred that door. He's mean to me. <laughs> I'm going to let you answer all the comments tonight, Mama. <laughs> he did make me go to the doctor. And my heart doctor said it. By him making me go into my regular doctor, that they together saved my life by making me go and have all this checked out and done. So I guess I owe them dearly. But you won't listen next time either. No, I'm bullheaded. Very bullheaded. That's the way I was. We just never did go to the doctor when I'm growing up. We had to be very, very bad in order to go to the doctor. I'm going to show you all this. Voila. Ooh. Look at that. That's wonderful looking to me. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> See, it's not even when you come to the top of the pan now. You're going to put it back on the stove. Yeah, I'm going to over here and keep it warm. <laughs> and add it. Excuse me. I'm going to add these other things to it. And we're going to have a wonderful heart healthy supper tonight. Heart healthy. How do you like that? He makes noise and he talks about me making noise listening to that. <laughs> what, Mama? I said, you make noise more than me and you talk about me. Talk about you bad. But I had them tomatoes on this hot bed was let them just sit here. Wouldn't hurt to sprinkle just a tad of salt on them tomatoes to bring the flavor. Oh, I will. I will, Mama. Oh, if them's all had a good time today and enjoyed today. Through the rain, the storm, the sun, and all, it's been a good day. Did we have a storm? Mm-hmm. It thundered and lightened. It didn't over for you, is that? Yeah, it did. Over there. <coughs> I didn't know. That's amazing. Are you sneezing to get out of a minute on the camera? No. Just, uh, I guess where I sprinkled that pepper for a We had uh, thunder and lightning and rain. And I've I didn't know what, I didn't, didn't know if you'd had it here or not. Uh, and I was wanting to ask everybody to remember Cheryl Edwards. She's uh, one of our friends. It's, uh, she, her bones just breaks on their own. And uh, she's been in the hospital for a little over a week or a week. And now she's in rehab because she has had some bones to break in her back and I don't know where else, but uh, just lift her up in prayer because she's in pain and stuff. I'd like for her to be remembered while I'm sitting here talking. Go ahead, Mom. Okay. I'm running out of stuff to say. I think just talk like you. Does it make you nervous, Mom? Yeah, it does make me nervous. 
I tried to tell them that, but they think I'm being mean to you. No, you're not being mean to me. Now you're uh, telling I am too, so that's what it is. <laughs> I was just joking when I said your name. I don't know what I'd do if not you didn't have you to be mean to me. <laughs> I got a bad look, Cassie. <laughs> no. A very bad look. He gave me a mean look. I didn't I? give you a mean look. <laughs> I just gave you a... What? What are you talking about? He has to keep me on track sometimes. And I realize that. Are we ready to eat? No. Well, come back over here. I can set stuff over here. You talk better than me. I talk better than you. Oh, yeah. What's I, that mean? I can talk a little and go on, but I can't keep people's interest and keep them going. Why, Mama, you, you keep people's interest all the time. Oh. Now, I just went over there and sprinkled a little bit of this. One of y'all sent this to us. You sent us to several of them. It's called Spice Wellness. It's a vegetable super spice blend and there's no salt added it is on um amazon and i think i've got it pinned to our favorite things in amazon on our amazon link which i'll post in the comments after this it's, it's salt free see that green band here's the name if you want to screenshot it um but i want to say we're not sponsored by this brand or anything. If you want to use Nature Seasonings, they have tons. Go to your local grocery store. If you used to, if you tried Nature Seasoning in the 90s and the 80s, and it was that one yellow Mrs. Dash thing, not Nature Seasonings, I made that up. I don't know why I said that. Is it my, Mrs. Dash? Mrs. Dash. Oh, yeah. I meant to say Mrs. Dash. You can use Mrs. Dash instead of Nature Seasoning. Nature Seasoning is not healthy. It's season. Mrs. Dash. If you try Mrs. Dash in the 80s and the 90s when it was that one yellow container and you said, nah, yeah, it's all right. Go and look again, folks. They've got every flavor, every kind that's wonderful. I love Mrs. Dash stuff. But now, whoever sent us these, these are really good. It's Spice Wellness is the brand. Spice Wellness. And it's good. And it's smelling. It's getting hot on those tomatoes. It gets smelling. that smell going, and it just mm. so there's no extra salt. We did put a little salt in it, just but we controlled it. And um, I've been watching some keto things uh, on YouTube and wherever Pinterest, wherever I can find them. Um, I'm gonna try to. Do, I'm not going on no keto diet. Don't no no no. No, I'm But I'm gonna incorporate some keto. Um, not, I'm going to do low carb, lower carbs, um, just as a health thing, not necessarily anything else, just to have that uh, element of eating healthier on certain days. Now we'll still be eating fried food and don't say, you said you was going to start eating healthier, John, and now you're having fried taters and fried chicken and mm -hmm, we're going to have that because we're going to live a little bit. But uh, you can eat in moderation. You know, the Bible says all things mm -hmm. in moderation. So you can eat some of those things in moderation. And then you can also eat healthy things. It's all, it's all good, folks. We've got two more minutes on our meat and our onions. And this dish will be done. I'm going to count this as a one-dish wonder because I could have started the meat in there, put the cabbage on top of the meat, added those other things when it cooked down, and then added the onions with the meat, and then just added it as it cooked down. But we didn't take time to do all the adding and all that. So you can make this in one dish, one pot wonder. I love this kind of eating. I love it in the summer. Um, to me, that's the best part of summer, is the wonderful vegetables and the peaches and the blackberries, and the fruits. And we keep fruit, fruit, fruit here. And um, it's just everywhere. It's still turning, Mama. Yeah. Mama, you got another, what's this, two minutes. 
It was two. It was just off of three. When you oh, said it I'm barely able to see it. Now it's down to one fifty-seven. You could sing a song that wants to chime. Saint Jesus loves me. That's a good song. This is a lot of mine. Yeah. Y'all got a Hey Mama Jeff? Let me get you over here where I can see ya. You can inspire us to do the same. Joanne, I don't think we can inspire you. <laughs> we, you have to be better at stuff than we are to inspire you. But I think if we try to do a couple of you know, a lot of people have asked me, John, do you have any low carb things? Do you have any diabetic things? Since mama's diabetic, don't you ever cook diabetic? No, I don't. Mama don't like the, the idea of it. No, she don't like the idea of tonight's really, to be honest with you. She would rather have had fried in some bacon grease, cabbage. Yeah. But I swear we're gonna clean eat tonight because we ate so, so bad. And some shit, no. <laughs> We showed ourselves last night. Mama ate a whole piece and some of the cat food. Did you eat it today? I ate it for breakfast lunch. <laughs> I didn't eat no breakfast. You ate catfish for breakfast? For lunch. Oh, I don't guess there's anything wrong with that, Mama. Oh, for brunch. I didn't eat breakfast. Okay, did you put it in the air fryer? Yes, I put it in the air fryer. It was really good. You all heard it here. You all know Mama's strict grading policy. If she said it was very good, then you and I would think it was fresh out the, off the. Yes. Mama's very picky, especially with leftovers. Unless, and, and so last night I told her, I said, Mama, you got a whole piece of catfish. Eat that for lunch tomorrow. But some of and the. And over a half a baked potato left. I ate pretty good. I said, but some of the coffee time friends said you could reheat fish, and something else y'all told me in the microwave, and it was just like fresh. She did it in, was it like fresh? Well, not hardly like fresh, but it, it was, was good. good. It wasn't tough or bad like the Like heat. the microwave. Like in the microwave. I don't no. like the microwave. So it was good. Yeah. You seen her, she was afraid I was going to leave her here again. She jumped up and grabbed that. Something's about one up. Mama, that's Mm. What? You're gonna spell that on you. Be careful. Oh. Hold it straight, straight. She can do it. It's just me being overprotective. Okay. Did somebody have a hey mama? Did somebody have a hey mama? What is a what is a conversation between artichoke chokes? Uh, oh. Denise, did you send me this the other day? <coughs> this is the one I tried to remember the other night, and I said, I think I can remember that one. I think I forgot it. Uh, uh, what is a conversation between artichokes? And think about it, Mama. Think about what artichokes. Artichokes. How, we, how do we eat artichokes? You eat the inside, the heart of an artichoke. So a conversation would be a... Heart to heart. A heart to heart. Did you see that woman? <laughs> did you see her? Folks, here's a little bouncing. Now, see, these did, um, these did brown in the microwave. I know y'all don't believe me when I tell you. They do not taste like rubber. They do brown. They do great. And spreading that little bit of oil on it does help that. Look at these beautiful onions. They did not brown, but I just want them soft. Then see how the purple ones have kind of gotten a little iridescent and a little, I just wanted them soft and, and good. They don't have to be browned. Mama's gonna brown, you know. Now look at here, folks. Look at here. Here is our supper. Now I'm going to, those tomatoes will be so good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this meat Right in here on top of this, I'm using the water and all because I want, that's just the drippings, the renderings, the goodie, if you will. Southerners call it goodie uh, or pot liquor. The liquid in the bottom of the pot, they'll call it pot liquor because that's what you wanna do is lick that pot. It's good. So I'm gonna put the meat right there. And then I'm not gonna put all these things, I'm gonna leave these onions separate. Okay. 
Yeah, cause I don't know if I can yeah, let's don't do you with onions. But if I wasn't, if it wasn't for Mama, I'd put these onions right in on top of it. They're perfectly tender. They're perfectly good. Um, but I'm just going to leave them separate. Let's set them over here on this pad. I will um, use those onions for other things too. I won't put all those in there. We fix stir fry on here probably plenty because it's one of our favorite things. It really is. We. Uh, we love cabbage and we love smoked sausage, kielbasa sausage. We love all those flavors together. And uh, we'll have this quite often. Seems like in the winter it's a good hearty meal. That cabbage is good. And you know, cabbage is one of those things that is good in the winter. You can get good cabbage at the grocery, even in the winter. And uh, it makes it good, don't you, Mama? So Friday night coffee break is all about a good clean meal tonight. And that's what I like to do. We had catfish, and when I'm telling you we had catfish at the at the uh, pizza spot last night, their catfish is delicious. Locals know that. Oh, the pieces of catfish are <laughs> almost <laughs> huge. Expensive. They're probably no joke. They are probably that's big. That's about how they yeah. are. They're, they're mm -hmm. big. You get two of those. I ate. Both of mine. It's like a whole bit, you know. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, and a big old bucket's head and a good salad. But you can't I, eat that. I didn't time. eat no salad today. I didn't You're fixing it. to, Mama. <laughs> I You're, eat the rest of that high potato and that piece of dish. I did. Let's dip down in here and see what we got. I'm going to tilt y'all over. I don't want you to miss this. So... You said those tomatoes, how wonderful they are. Now I'm gonna dip down in here in the bottom. And this is that beautiful uh, cabbage and that beautiful squash. Gonna put that over there on mama's plate. Mama, you don't want that pepper. No, I don't, that's enough cabbage and stuff. But you do want these tomatoes. You want some tomatoes and meat. I know you want the tomatoes, because they're hot tomatoes. You want to get you some, you can get Parmesan and put on them. No, it's not. Parmesan is just cheese. And there's just some smoked sausages. Now, I'm just going to dip down in here and get peppers and all. Why don't you get cucumbers? Did you get a piece of cucumber or broccoli? I think so, down in the bottom there. Are you saying that, or are you hoping you didn't and you want me not to notice? Well, I got some green down there. Okay. Not there too. Okay, Mama. We don't want to over healthy you. Can you over healthy somebody? You could me. Can you over healthy? Are they killing down there? I can't read it. I'm dipping. They're probably saying don't make mama eat. Don't make mama eat healthy. Don't make her eat broccoli and stuff. Don't make her eat no broccoli. There's some broccoli. You want to put it back? No, I'll eat that little bite. <laughs> I don't think I got no cauliflower though. But Do you want all, some cauliflower, Mama? That's all right. Mama, I, you will have cauliflower. No, that's all right. <laughs> I like the kids at school. Give me them white trees. I don't like them greens. <laughs> Do they like cauliflower? They eat cauliflower, but they don't want... Mama, you may have cauliflower because I ain't finding none. Well, there's probably some. I think it's mushed up. Yeah, it cooked pretty good. Probably right there's a piece. Here's a piece. Here's some. There's some. Uh, <laughs> Mama cooked for all the kids at elementary. So, I'm sure they got stuff they weren't supposed to get. And I'm sure if they didn't want something, she fixed them something different. She probably would have gotten in trouble. But, now folks... That's just like downtown. Look at that. That's all stir fry. There's no teriyaki. There's no soy. There's nothing. It's really just cooked vegetables. Didn't even start out with any oil. Did you go down and slip and put oil? No. No. I put water, a little water. To get water. It Water's good, Mama. Water's good. To get it steaming before the cabbage had got hot because I sprayed it stick. Do you want to do the, you want to say grass tonight? Yeah, no. You want to say it or you want me to? No, you say it. <laughs> Some of y'all said I never let mama say grace. I don't know why. We just never have done that. Mm -hmm. 
Let's bless our food. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for allowing the sun to shine, to grow these wonderful vegetables. Enjoy. We just thank you for uh, the people who work in the industry of food and, and travel and deliver. You're just so, they're just so good to do that. Lord, and we just pray that you'll watch over us, lead, guide, and direct us. Be with each and every prayer request that's out there tonight, both spoken and unspoken. Remember our friends in Kentucky, dear Lord, and just bless them in a mighty and prayerful way. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mom, I'll let you take the first bite. You are. Now, this excites me. I think this looks so good. Oh, As Mama peels something off in hers. The tomato, I'm afraid I'll get choked on that hoe. Mmm. I about lost that bite. They're good. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can taste this. It's wonderful. Now, if you want more, you can add it. You can add it now. Um, just put a sprinkle, sprinkle. It's just different herbs and stuff mixed up. These little broths, I can't tell the difference when I cook them or when I cook the big one. They're both delicious at the moment. Yeah. And it's not. It's bigger waist and it's really quicker to cook in this they're size. Quicker. And, they're, and usually I cut them in half for bite size. So this, you know, takes care of all that. Now let's say we eat this tomorrow and we have a lot of it left and we don't want to waste it. All you have to do is put this in the pot, add you some tomato juice, spice it up a little bit and you'll have a wonderful, wonderful vegetable soup. And you can eat it with a pimento cheese sandwich or something else. So. This is very versatile of a meal. You can you can use this for different things. Let's right? just cook vegetables. They're very good. Mama, I'm not trying to suggest it. But this onion is good too. But I know you can have it for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, I'm afraid to. It's already ate something, so I'm afraid. Folks, I don't know if I can even show you on the camera. Don't know if you can even see it. But these are so tender, so irritated, and they have a just a wonderful flavor. And it's that that day and that onion, that red together, and they're soft. They're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now let's try this hot tomato. Tomatoes are good. Now some of y'all out there might be saying, I don't do hot tomatoes. They're delicious, folks. They are absolutely delicious. They, um, we love them hot. We love them grilled. Sometimes that's our supper. We'll take a big old red tomato and I will uh, put it in the oven and we'll put, um, different cheeses on it. We'll put bacon bits on it. We'll put, what else? Mama likes hers pretty much with mozzarella cheese. No bacon bits. No bacon bits. No fake bacon. If it was fried bacon, she would. Mozzarella cheese and a little, little sprinkle of Italian seasoning. Bacon uh, bits don't agree with me. Mama don't like the bacon bits. And I use real bacon bits that you buy in the store. I use them, and I, I like real, Bacon, I can appreciate that much better. But the real bacon, that's really bacon, you can put it in a little bit of bacon grease on the stove and put your scramble yolks, some eggs, pour over top of that, throw you some mushrooms in there, some peppers, a little bit of tomato. You have a wonderful bacon omelet. Have you ever eaten one of those? Not with the, in, well, the real bacon bits, I think I have, but not with. They're not imitation. They're real bacon bits. Let's try this tomato. I sprinkled this right on top of the tomato. It's just like it's on a little dish sitting up on top in the moment. Mm -hmm. You could smell it and get hot. It was. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Um, I guess that's all we got tonight, folks. Mama won't sing. Maggie's laying over here like a piece of this cabbage is going to fall and she'll want it. I shared a little bit of my baked potato with her. 
but she could smell that fish and I didn't let her have no fish. I was mean to her. Fish probably wouldn't hurt her, but it may not agree with her. Um, she'll end up with I a couple. Sure. <laughs> she'll get a piece of a brats or two or four in a minute. I didn't show my fish. No, but she will get some brats. If we share table food with her, we try to make it a protein. Um, the vet told us don't do it, so we don't. Sorry for sometimes. <laughs> did you hear that? She feels sorry for us sometimes, and she does anyway. What Not did, much, though. What did I tell you when you was little? If there ain't enough food to give everybody some of whatever it is, don't get it out. I feel that way with my don't Mama will say, now she's been smelling them pork chops and she's been looking forward to pork chops. <laughs> Mama, she really don't know about pork chops. She knows that there's something smelling good, but she probably wasn't looking forward to pork chops. I say, give her one little bite or two. And Johnny said, you can give her a hundred and she'll still want more. <laughs> you can feed her this whole plate, which is stand there and want a little bit more. At night, you all have sent her pep pepperonis and y'all know how much she loves them. I'll take a pepperoni and I'll break it in two or three pieces. So she thinks she's getting two or three treats. But I also don't want her to choke on it because she gets all excited when she sees it. So, I do it for multiple reasons. It's almost time to go out. And we'll have problems. Because I've just mowed the yard, which means... She don't like it. It means Mama will probably take her out. Because I don't go out fresh mowed. If I do, y'all know it tomorrow. When I'm going... <laughs> but, uh, they mess up her yard. Now, I don't know if she's that keen on smell, but honest, when they mow, she is very much like, she'll look around and she, she'll go to her little route and she'll smell and like there's been somebody here and they've messed around with my stuff. She does, don't she, Mama? Mama, yeah. you nearly eat a whole plate. I know it. That's why I did yesterday and got stuff. But this shouldn't stuff me, I hope. It's good though, ain't it? Yeah, it's real good. Uh, I'm better to her than you are. I give her a whole big piece of pepperoni. I give her a whole piece, but I break it up into... I break it up little tiny dice for her. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, I break it up so and she thinks she gets two, three, or four. If she's been real good at times, I'll sneak her two whole pieces. <laughs> You're good, Mama. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like nobody to go hungry. If you come, I want you to eat. Oh, I know, Mama. Poor little Maggie stays here all the time. I know, Mama. My sister says she's like a child. <laughs> I said, I'll ask her. She's it. worse than a child. Okay, let's tell you one time what we did here. So you'll know, because some of y'all will ask me. In this little pot here, we cleaned out the refrigerator. We had a I uh, had a couple of cro crooked neck squash. We had uh, two crowns of uh, broccoli, two, what are you going to call them? I had that bro the cauliflower that we had cut up and dipped in ranch. I had a little bit of a Vidalia onion and a small red onion. We had a half mm -hmm. a head of cabbage. Gosh, you got a little bit. And I put a tomato and a half on it. And we put... Uh, the brats that we already had, but I would have used a whole smoked sausage if I had it. And um, that's all. All we did was put it in the kettle. Mama added up about four tablespoons of water. I saw that little glass you had. And uh, that is started steaming, but if you hadn't have done that, the cabbage would have made its own water too. If I to get it going, I sprayed it would get brown, you know. Right burn on the bottom a little bit. And remember, I started this out and it was up to here. And it went down to the half. Lid wouldn't sit the down. lid wouldn't sit on it. It all went down. And then I've added the meat and the tomatoes and the, I didn't add onions, but I put them on my plate. 
on top of it, and it's just down to here. So it will go down. Uh, you do need to start out with a steep one though. And uh, did I put anything else in there, Mama? The only thing she put in it seasoning wise was a shake, shake of salt just around the top. And pepper. And pepper around the top. That was it. Put the lid back on it. That steam will make it go over the whole meal. And then I put the same amount of this seasoning on top. And I just went around like this after I put the tomatoes on and it was it. And that's the spice we're using, spice wellness. And uh, it's good, but if you don't have this, don't want to order it on Amazon or fill with that mess, just get you some Mrs. Dash. If you don't want to do Mrs. Dash or none of that mess, then I would say just use your own seasoning out of your spice cabinet. Uh, use a little bit of uh, seasoned salt. Maybe use a little bit of Italian seasoning would be good on it. Maybe a little basil. Maybe a little bit of thyme would be good on it. Make it your own. But it's you a good clean meal. A little bit of fresh basil in it. I've got thought. fresh basil over here. That we could have. Nice. Yeah. Um, make it your own. But this is a good clean eating meal. This is no bad stuff. Uh, like I said, we had heavy fried stuff last night, so tonight we're going to have this. I'm going to look into some more keto recipes, and we'll be bringing you some more of those. I'm not studied up on it enough to know about it. It's low carb, most of it, and a lot of them use special products. Don't know that we'll go so far to use special products, like they'll use keto-free tortillas, or they'll use, you know, I don't know if we'll do all that. I've never tried the Atkins. <laughs> yeah. Don't know if we'll use all that, but we are going to do some healthier, cleaner eating things occasionally. Okay, a very occasionally. Like once a year on Christmas. <laughs> like you want this for your Christmas meal? Mm-mm. Like Christmas. Okay, we'll give up chicken and dumplings. Mm-mm. You're changing your mind, Mama. Like Christmas, not Christmas dinner. <laughs> We'll be doing Christmas menu before you know it. Do you all realize that we're already a, a week into the month of August? There's just three more weeks in August, folks. We're five days in. It just started. And there's only three more weeks left. Oh. Anybody else got a hey mama? Hey mama. Oh, you know what? What? I froze them way back there. I'm sorry, folks. Hey, Mama. You may get a quick hey, Mama. If we don't, I understand. I understand. All those years I stood over a hot stove, stir frying. What, what, what? Kathy, what are we saying? All those years I stood over a hot stove, stir frying in my walk, the veggies that took hours to chop Bless my heart. <laughs> oh, you say because of this? Yeah, you don't have to chomp all that. It's not as... I've got a walk, and I like it, but it's it's big and heavy, and it's hard to wash. If we can throw it in here, I usually take the easy route. But sometimes certain things, if I'm using like chicken, I like to use the walk. And I'll tell you why, because I can pull the chicken up around the sides. And then add my vegetables and they'll get good and hot and, and cooked and the chicken don't burn. Um, post the, the, the kibasas, even if they get a little char on them, they're still really good. And charred chicken is okay. I just don't want it to cook it, cook it. But you got to start out with that protein to get the juices and get that done. And then if you put raw onions or something like that, they need to cook a while. So, if having the wok to pull your chicken up on the sides and let it stay warm, but yet not cook right on the bottom, it is helpful for that. So, there are times a wok is more practical, and it's, if you just want to use one dish. Um, I like the wok. It's a cast iron wok. Um, but, sometimes I'm it's in it, but I... Mama know. can't, I won't let Mama lift it. Hey, she probably could... Wash. But she does not lift it, wash it, put it away or anything. I just, it's just heavy. It's heavy. And so I tell her, no, I will take care of the walk. She can stir in it, though. Anybody got, hey, Mama and John. Is that just a hello or is that a joke? Is that some 
somebody said, hey. Hey, Mama and John, what's your desserts? Pam? We don't have one. We don't have we one. Have and if we do have one, it'll be a couple of strawberries over here. And that's going to be a little sweet. For, that's it. Or maybe I might cut up a banana and do it. And that's it. That's all we got. We don't do desserts. Hardly no, ever. Not like we used to. I used to bake every time I could. Mama used to. If the oven came on, any if you heated up something in the house, she felt like you should throw a cake in there. Why heat the oven up and not bake a cake or some brownies or cookies or something? So we would have, Mama has, she used to collect cake plates, the dome cake plates. She would have four or five out here on the counter with one with cookies, one with brownies, one with no bake cookies, some muffins that she just had to whip up one morning because she was making biscuits. So if you're gonna make biscuits, you might as well make, that's, remember the other morning when we had the lemon poppy seed muffins? Or was that the other night? Anyhow, we had them and it didn't really go with everything else. That's because mama had a hot oven. <laughs> I don't want it to go to work. It's just, if I'm gonna hate the oven, I might as well make something sweet. I used to bake an awful lot, but. Yeah, we don't need all the bake. And I would be the one to eat it. So I don't bake as much as I used. You know, they say you can graze yourself to death and mama is a grazer. Now y'all notice she don't eat too much a lot of times. But now she's a grazer. She will nibble on chips. She's a chip or a, cookie, or, or a cookie. Or if there's a cake here, she will walk by it 10 or 15 times a day and she'll take her knife and cut just the smallest little piece. A and shiver, I'll say. A, a shiver. <laughs> I want a shiver of that. She says a sliver, a shiver. And she'll cut her one little piece and she'll eat that going her way. And then she'll come back through and she'll cut another little piece. And then, you know, time I get home, I'm like, Mama, how much cake have you had? Now I just had a couple little shivers of it. <laughs> That's the truth. That's uh, the truth. Hey, Mama and John. Oh, that was the same one, Pam. I'm you're freezing them tonight. If I touch you, you're froze. That's just what it is. I can't read. Uh, hey, Mama, what do you call potato babies? Potato oh, that's babies. That's cute, Sandy. Potato babies. I think she'll get this one. A top? Uh, tot, exactly, tater tots, mama. <laughs> tater tots. That's me too. Marilyn, are you a shiverer? <laughs> a sliverer? Just a little bit. If there's a blueberry muffin, she'll go through and take a little bite of it. Just a pinch. And then another one, and another one, and another one. And then by the end of, you know, two or three hours, she's... Walk by it and nothing. You'll hear the cake plate lid. You know the distinct sound of that glass lid. Sometimes I'll say stuff. Just, Brownies is my worst. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'll say stuff like, What was that, Mama? I heard a strange sound. Nothing. <laughs> Go about your business. I didn't hear nothing. You're just hearing stuff. <laughs> Mama, there's that weird sound again. What is that? I still don't hear it. What are you talking about? Granny's fudge is awful bad. Oh, yeah. Now that, I can shiver it myself. And uh, chocolate fudge is bad. Any kind of sweets is bad. To, to Chocolate's on. worse than the others, so. though. Any kind of sweets is bad to nibble on. As I'm looking at this big old pile of vegetables here, <laughs> tomorrow... When I get me some of it out and heat it up, I mean, look at this. We're, we're, we're going to have this for a minute, folks. We may have to share this with somebody. Uh, when I heat my portion of this up tomorrow on my plate, I'm going to throw me some Frank's hot sauce on it because I love it. Um, these handles are stay cool. So I, the bottom is still hot, but the handles are cold. They're, they're stay cool, so that's good. Uh, but I'm going to have me some hot sauce on mine. Now, Mama won't, but it's portioned out. 
So uh, I can put hot sauce on mine and onions and she don't have to. So if you have picky eaters, prepare your food to everybody can be happy. Lord knows it can be done because we've done it a lot. Mm -hmm. Mom, you got a clean plate cut. Well, I've got a little bit of tomato left, but I run out of all the other goodies. Oh, you didn't run out, Mama. Uh, Look here. Yeah, but I'm kind of on the full side. <laughs> Folks, we're going to go. It's Friday night coffee break, and we're glad you're here. We just love having y'all with us. We're going to be on tomorrow, Lord willing. Uh, don't know if we're cooking or what. Are you doing farmer's market tomorrow, Mama? I'm going to try my best to get up and go to the post office and the farmer's market early in the morning. I went with her last Saturday. Because the COVID is getting somewhat worse, and I'd like yeah, to go COVID early. Is, COVID's back, folks. Y'all be careful. Uh, mask up when you're in a lot of public and all that. I went to her with the farmer's market last week and there was only two people or three people set up. Uh, we would have jumped on live, but um, um, I'm very, you know, I don't want to go live in a small place. You know, like a, It's just like three little things. I don't care to go live and show y'all the whole thing, but when you're really close to people, they may not want to be on coffee time. Uh, so when Instead of making anybody uncomfortable or anything, we just don't do it or I try to hold the camera so you don't see the people, but you see the event. So, uh, depending on the crowd, depending on how it goes. And then like last night at the restaurant, it was a little, it was, it was too loud. It would have been too loud on camera because you had a TV going, two TVs going, and you had people milling around and people was coming up and talking and stuff. And, and so. a lot of, uh, I think they were election years. Uh, yeah, the, we had election year last night, so there was a lot of talk and rattling about that. A lot but, of the workers or whatever was eating. Yeah. Folks, y'all have a great night. Have a blessed night. Uh, it's it's 20 to 9. It's yeah. my bedtime just about. It came at 4 o'clock. And if I can stand on the porch, I'll put a mask on and take Maggie out. I'll take her out tonight. I don't want you getting off. I'm so allergic to grass. It's ridiculous. Messed up. Uh, and there it'll be cutting hay, and then that'll be this. It'll be over because every if I drive down the road, see I'm already getting a little, mm -hmm. and I'm just in the house with it. I guess because you don't you aller, allergy suffers. The, the HVAC unit is right back there where there was weed eating and cutting, and all that comes in the house. Uh, I've got filters on the on there and everything, but I can tell when they're mowing. I can tell any time a grass is cut. Anytime. <laughs> and it starts clogging me up. It starts, I get all, it ain't fun, but it's, it's okay. But that was two goodbyes. One more, Mama. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and good night. God bless you all. Bye bye. Y'all have a blessed night.